guys, my name is Riley. If you're new here, then thank you for being here. And if you're a return, then thank you for coming back. Um, so I want to give a little bit of an explanation on why I haven't been here the past couple of weeks. I was fostering a dog, her name was Colonel, for quite a while. She passed away and it hit me really hard and I have been taking some time to myself to grieve and to do things of that sort. But I'm back, so today I'm bringing you an original tag because I do tags on this channel all the time and I figured if I'm going to do them, why not make one? So today I'm bringing you the basic ass writer tag. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Number one is typewriter. What stereotype do you fall into with no shame? Um, mine, I think, would definitely be, like, the starving artist <laughs> trope, I, or stereotype, I guess. I sometimes lock myself in my office, which is where I'm at right now, and I kind of just forget to, like, talk to people or eat or socialize for, like, days or hours at a time. And then people come out and I'm just kind of super distant and I kind of just forget that I'm doing it. So, probably that one. Number two. Quill, do you prefer pens or laptops? I think I write pretty exclusively on my laptop, but I do have like a crap ton of journals for just in case I want to hurry and get something down really quick. I also hoard sticky notes. So, not necessarily journal, but like little piece of paper I can stick places. Three is dialogue. What is the best piece of advice that you've ever been given? So, I think that mine is definitely start from the middle of your book. Uh, I know that sounds kind of weird. I do have a video coming up about how I write my flash fictions, but right after that I'm coming out with a video about how I'm writing my novel, and it'll explain a little bit more in that. Four is hype. What is your favorite published work? And if you are unpublished, then your favorite whip. Uh, so I write in two separate categories. I write short story collections and novels, so I'm going to pick one from each category. Uh, Bee Bums is probably my favorite short story collection that I've written. And I think that my favorite novel that I've written is my current whip. It's called The Sovereign of Seven. I think that one's number five, second cup of coffee. What trope do you find yourself running back to every time that you write something? Mine, I think, is definitely romance. Um, I put it in everything, and I think it's just because I love love, and I love intimacy, and I love... I love love. That's it. <laughs> Six, on the opposite side of the spectrum, is Murder Song. What song have you choreographed a murder to in your writing? Um, so I think my pick for this list will probably be Cold Blood by Balin, but I do have a murder playlist on my Spotify that I go to whenever I have to write like really intense scenes. Alright, number seven, what is your go-to phrase or word that you use in everything? I think I either say that question mark was purely ornamental or I say nodded all the time. All the time. I've gotten so much feedback like why is she nodding so much instead of actually saying anything. And eight is where is your favorite place to write? This is absolutely hands down my favorite place to write. Um, if you saw that little window over there, it pours in light and it's just such a fantastic place to sit down with my dogs and be able to um, just relax. Alright, number nine is mood boards. What is your writer aesthetic? Personally, I think that my writer aesthetic is definitely just like dogs, uh, coffee and copious amounts of books. I have books everywhere. I have my library, which you guys just saw, and I have, um, my dogs are consistently with me when I'm writing, and I think that I'm just consistently always writing, is I'm always, like, picking out little words or picking out little snippets of words to put into literature when I decide to actually put it into a, a whip, you know? Yeah. Number 10 is Stacked Journals. What is your current whip called and what is it about? So my very current whip is called The Sovereign of Seven and it is about a kingdom where there are 
um, kind of like a syndicate of seven people and then a king. And each of the seven people, their last names represent their number. And their number represents the education that they've been given through passed down through their ancestry. So my main character, her name is Asa Tu, and her education is based around economical uh, agriculture. Uh, economical agriculture, and it's just kind of about her trying to like figure out her way around court and figure out how to work together with the seven other people that she or six other people that she is there with, including the king. And just there's like the, a bunch of love stuff that goes on and a bunch of sex. It's it's quite great. All right, number eleven. What revise? What is the worst piece of writing advice that you've ever been given? Personally, I think it's fluff doesn't matter. And I think that I'm gonna do like a full rant video on this because I do not want this video to be a million years long. But I have a lot to say about this specifically. What is your favorite writer's block cure? So I think that my favorite cure, I have these folders um, in my docs that's just called Cabbage. It'll be like working title of whatever whip I'm on and then Cabbage it'll just be kind of things that I think will be fun in the story at some point. They're just snippets of dialogue or snippets of description. And whenever I have severe writer's block then I'll go through those pieces of cabbage and I'll just take out all, um, all of the adjectives and adverbs and replace them with stronger verbs. And usually by the time I'm done with one or two pieces of cabbage I find myself consistently like writing more. Um, because I really think that writer's block is just, you've run out of words to say. And so I spend a lot of time on synonyms.com. <laughs> Number 13, protagonist. What is your best writer trait? I think that mine is that I'm consistent. And I also write intimacy really well. If you guys didn't know, I am a sex fiction writer and narrator. So I think that my, how I write int intimacy specifically has catapulted comparatively to my other writer traits. Number 14, <laughs> antagonist. What is your most toxic trait? Um, I think it's the same as my first answer is I kind of just lock myself in a room for a significant amount of time and I forget to do anything else and I forget to like go say hi to people or socialize with people. <laughs> Sorry if I haven't texted you back in months. Alright, and last but not least is 15, secondary characters. Who has been here the most to support you throughout your writing journey? I think that I would definitely have to say my husband and my dogs. And I have this group of friends of uh, who consist of Sadie, Ivy, and Kaylee. And whenever I go over and see any of them, they're always so happy to read my stories and give me feedback and to hype me up whenever I need it and they're just they're just the best. Uh, none of them are writers but they just they put up with my crap anyways and I love them for that. Anyways, we have officially reached the end of this video. I'm going to be tagging who I think would thrive or benefit from this tag the most down in the description below. But anybody is welcome to it. If you do happen to do it, tag me so I can watch it and I will potentially reply. Um, if you guys do reply on this video, I do love having conversations with the people who reply, so uh, do that if you want to. And if you want to subscribe so you can be here when I post more, then that would be superb. If not, then thank you for being here for as long as you did come. I hope that you guys have a good rest of your week, and bye!